Alrighty, we are going to just jump into a really quick walkthrough of uh, importing a weapon model to Dark Souls 3. Um, this is going to be assuming that you watched my previous video on getting your stuff set up here. Here that one. So, if you watched my previous video on getting things set up, we have right here, right where we left off on that video. The first thing I'm just going to do, I'm just going to take our PNG, I'm going to drop it in paint.net here. I'm going to right click on it, click save as, go ahead down here, direct draw surface, click save as sRGB. Okay, sounds great. We no longer need this PNG here, so I'm just going to delete it. <clears throat> so then the next thing we'll do here is we're just going to go open up Blender really fast. Delete the little cubey boy, go to file, go to import. We're going to import the OBJ because that is the one that is in our file there that we can see most easily. Grab that. It's quite large, which is fine. Um, I'm not even going to bother resizing it in Blender um, because it's one mesh um, and half the time it doesn't matter because you can resize it inside of the fiber editor if you really want to. So. What we're going to do is we'll have it right here. We're just going to go to File, we'll go to Export. We're going to export it as an FBX, and we will export it as the Fierce Deity Sword. So let's do FDS FBX. We'll go over to level one here. Just kind of drop it right in there. And we aren't really going to need anything inside of Blender anymore for this model. Um, one thing you can do with it is make sure you have the UVs all selected and looking good here. Um, sometimes you have to flip them if the texture doesn't show up correctly in game, but this is actually matching up with the texture file already, so we're not going to worry about that. So we're just going to close that. So now what we're going to have over here is we're going to have the FDS FBX right here. We're going to have the use this file to import. So what we're going to do is we're going to get that set up as a fiber now. So we'll drag this over to the fiber editor. Wait for this. We'll go over and import the model. And we are looking to import the FB, FDS link uh, sword right here. So FBX. Material count is 1. Do I want to switch anything around? No, I, I don't want to switch anything around. So we've got the big old sword here. So what we'll do is we'll just go to mesh, we'll unselect anything that's not our sword there. We're just going to go to scale and we will make this weapon, uh, let's do, let's do by 70%. We'll shrink it by 70% each, each way here. Go ahead and click modify and then we'll just click enter a handful of times here so we can kind of just get that moving a little bit quicker. Zoom back in on it, kind of take a looky, see if it looks all right or not. I think it looks pretty okay in terms of its size there. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll we'll hit it one more time with it with a shrinky dinky there. But we'll add back out of that, modify it so it saves that as a fi fiber holder. I call it that. I know it's the FLVR, but it's Fiverr works for me, so I'll call it that. We'll go ahead and rename this as the uh, FDS Fiverr. So we have that now. We will go ahead and get all up into the original uh, Moonlight Greatsword parts here. Climb on in there. We'll grab its Fiverr. Open that up. This a little bit bigger here, make it just a little bit easier to see. And then we're gonna go to mesh, attach, and then we're gonna grab the FDS fiber, plop that bad layer in there, click modify, back that up, modify it, back out. So that way we can actually play around with it now when we reopen it. And we're spinning, huh? All right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves situated with looking at it here. Looks like the sword is going to be just a little bit small. 
um, but that's all right. We're gonna go into mesh. We will go ahead and select only our sword, not the Moonlight Great Sword, the Deity Link Sword. We will go rotate and rotate in degrees, and we will flop this around to the front side there. And then we will do a 90 degree flip. Uh, I think it's gonna be a negative 90 degree flip to go down. Yeah. So we have those lined up with each other now. They are all up in each other's business. So now we will go ahead and stop rotating stuff. We will go now to translation and we want it to go up just a little bit. Not a whole lot, just a little bit at a time. So we're gonna do 0 0.02 to go off of here. And we're gonna click modify and then we're gonna go ahead and hit enter a few times. Kinda of get it moving here. So what we're looking at here is that that sword handle is a little bit short um, with the blade meeting there. So we're actually gonna probably go ahead and do is we'll bring it all the way up so the pommels kind of meet up with each other. And then we will stop moving it and we will move on to scale here and we want to increase the sword by let's say five percent on all fronts here so we're going to do by 1.05 there and we will go ahead and click modify and it gets just a little bit bigger here and that seems like it's not so bad um it looks it looks pretty all right there so what we'll do is uh, we will get back to the translation here and we will go by negative point zero one and start kind of creeping that down just a little bit see if it kind of lines up a little bit better looks like it's close ish um, we're gonna actually see if we can cheat just a little bit because our hand doesn't hold on to the pommel there anyways. It's kind of more in this region and this region. So we'll scoot it down just a little bit. Let's see what we're working with here. And that's not so bad. But we kind of want the hit boxes to line up a little bit better. So what we'll do is we will go ahead and click through and check, find which one's the blade. Looks like this one is the blade, it's highlighted. So we will click that one as our chosen one. Close that down. We don't want to translate anymore. We want to actually scale a little bit. So let's go ahead and put it into scale and affect dummy and bones. And then let's go ahead and click modify and see what we get out of 5% in terms of a blade growth there. Looks like the blade tip comes down just a little bit under there. So what we'll do is we'll leave it alone for now. We'll bring that back to scale by times one, which means it won't move at all. And then we'll go by the 5% outward on both sides here and see what we run into with sizing there. That looks like it's pretty darn close in terms of meeting up on the edges of it, which is what we're shooting for. So we can go ahead and drop that back down to ones, down to ones, and then let's actually shrink the sword blade up just by like a very, very small amount. Uh, the closer you got to one, the smaller the amount's gonna be. And so since I want it to go down in size, I want it to be less than one, but close to one. So we're gonna go by 99. And then we're gonna click modify. And that's just gonna bring the tip of the blade up oh so slightly to match up there with that tip, which is really all we're shooting for. And that looks like it's probably pretty good for a rough go of it. If you really wanted to spend the time to make sure that everything was nice and matched up and make some little adjustments, you can totally come back later and do that. Just go ahead and click exit on that right there, modify so that you save that fiber. And what you can actually do if you want to is go ahead and just make a copy of that and save it on your desktop or a different folder. Um, and if so, if you want to start from that point again, you can go back to that point. So now what we're going to do really quickly is we're just going to get the texture set up. Since we don't really care too much about the Moonlight Greatsword anymore, we're actually just going to get rid of the textures for it because that's going to go away shortly. So 
We'll get rid of those textures for it. We will go all the way back really quick and we'll actually copy our little DDS for the Fierce Deity Sword. And we will go back in into the TPF and paste that. And then we're gonna wanna edit the XML here so that you can repack it because we made some changes to the contents of the folder. Since we only have one texture in there, we're gonna get rid of two of these texture lines so that it is only looking for the one when it repacks. And we're gonna change the file name to match the one that's inside of it. So, two. Which is right there, right there. And then you'll go ahead and just click save. And then you can exit that out. Back it up. Get rid of the old TPF. You don't need that anymore, none of that nonsense. And then we can go ahead and reopen the fiber here. So now the Moonlight Greatsword doesn't have any textures because we got rid of them. That's what we just did. So we'll go to Mesh real quick, and we will go ahead and select all of the ones pertaining to the Moonlight Greatsword, which are gonna be these top three, it looks like. So select those three and then delete on those because we don't need that anymore. We're trying to replace it with our new model. So we'll get rid of that. And we'll be left with our Fierce Deity Sword right there. So then we can go ahead and go back. We'll click modify to save that up a little bit. And then we'll go to material. And then we'll go to our FDS, FBX down at the very bottom here. We'll go to edit. And because I only have one texture, I'm just gonna go ahead and slap that in on all three of these here under the specular diffuse and bump map textures. I don't really play with these three because I don't understand them very well. Um, so I just leave those alone for now because I am still learning. For weapons, it is important to change this M to a WP because it is a WP type file. It is a weapon. So just make sure you change that. Otherwise your textures probably won't pop up. It'll show up like this in the game or like a shiny metal with no textures. It'll be, it'll be pretty funky looking. So change that to WP. Click OK so that it saves that. Close that. Click modify again so that you save that. And then we're gonna go ahead and close out of this. And we are going to repack our TPF, which has our new textures in it. And then we can go ahead and open this back up in here and just take a quick gander at it. It is darker and it is showing that there are some sort of texturing on it. So that's kind of what you're looking for. It looks a little bit different than it did before. It's not all white, which is a good sign. So what we'll do now is we'll just close out of that. We'll get rid of this folder of the TPF since we repacked it, and we'll get rid of the backup because we don't really need it right now. If you wanted one, you can always just save that, move it out at whatever point in the uh, stages you were at, and uh, go from there if you feel like you need to go back. We'll go back all the way out of this real quick. We'll get rid of the original one here because that's the regular Moonlight Greatsword. We'll take this, we'll throw it in Yabber, and now we have our new weapon model, textured and all prettyfied, supposedly. We'll go into our mod folder, into our parts list. We'll take this, copy it, and we'll paste it into there. And we'll overwrite the one that's in there because I already had the Moonlight Greatsword texture in there. So, or file part, whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean. We'll replace that. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a gander, see how that looks in the game. So what we'll do is we'll just go boot up the game now. We get a nice long white screen because it's uh, booting off of the mod engine and then I changed a bunch of uh, the splash screens. So it, it struggles a little bit at the beginning here, but that's all right. We got our beautiful Solaire here, flipping us off through a ring of fire. It's pretty cool. We got our very handsome boys here, just kind of hanging around. We'll let this kind of load us in here. And I believe I already have the uh, Moonlight Greatsword equipped in game. So we should theoretically see our changes immediately when we pop in because I already had it equipped preparing for 
doing this, so. Oh, I didn't have equipped. We have our Master Sword equipped, which is a model I swapped over our Long Sword in the game. And then we have a Hero's Tunic there that I am in the progress of trying to troubleshoot and uh, get set up here, so ignore that. But we do have our helmet from the last tutorial we did, so that's pretty cool. Throw on our regular armor real quick. And then let's toss on our Moonlight Greatsword and see if it looks uh, like what we're shooting for. And it sure does. In all fairness and honesty, that looks actually quite good. Um, if you boot into the game when you do a model like this and it's all silver and shiny or like pitch black or all white, um, it's usually an MTD path thing. Uh, that's the problem, which was that WP that I had you change. For armor, you usually want to leave that as just M. Sometimes you can change it to P. But for weapons, you want to change it to WP dot or WP ARSN or whatever it is there. But uh, that right there is uh, how you put a new model into the game for weapons. Um, hopefully that is helpful to some people and uh, you can go smack the shit out of stuff if you want to. Um, yeah, hopefully that's helpful to y'all.